Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how we can use quick analysis tool in Microsoft Excel. Friends, we use the quick analysis tool to apply the quick conditional formatting or to create the quick charts, to show the quick totals, or creating the quickly pivot tables or adding the spark line. As you are seeing my screen, we have names here and let's say we want to highlight quickly duplicate names. Although we can use the conditional formatting, but if we want to use the quick analysis tool, we can simply select the data and then to open the quick analysis tool, we can click on this icon. If you will click on this icon, it will open the quick analysis tool or you can right click and you can go to the quick analysis. Another way is after selecting the range, you can press the control Q. So this quick analysis tool pop up will appear like this. So we have selected the employee name. So it is going to show the duplicate value or the unique value equal to or text content. So you can use this one also. If you will click text content, you can put here, let's say text content M A and then it will highlight those texts only or you can use it for the duplicate value. So let's highlight the duplicate values. So quickly it will highlight the duplicate value. Quick analysis tool is very intelligent and this was the text format. Accordingly it is showing those features. If I will select this range wherein we have numbers, product wise sales, if I will press Ctrl Q, in this case it will show the data bar, color scale or icon set or you can use the greater than. It is identifying it is number. Accordingly it is showing the option to do the conditional formatting. So let's select here color scale. Let's say we want to highlight this. If you want to highlight the dates, it will give you the options accordingly. So let's select these dates, press Ctrl Q and here you can highlight the last month. So it will highlight the last month, last week, greater than, less than, equal to or you can clear the format. And let's say I want to highlight less than 1st of September 2022, less than and let's select this range. You click on OK. So here you can see it is dynamic condition formatting. Now if you change here, let's say first October, then accordingly it will highlight. Okay. Similarly, you can create quickly data bars here. Select this range. Control Q. Let's select the data bar. It will create the automatic data bar. Further, you can improve this using the conditional formatting rule manager. You can select this range, press Alt O D, and then Conditional formatting rule manager will be opened. You can select this, go to the edit and further you can change the color or you can change the font color or whatever you want. Okay. Accordingly, it will be changed. You can create the quick charts also. Let me show you. Here we have the employee by sales. So if I will select this range, I'll press Ctrl Q and then I'll go to the chart. You can create the cluster bar chart for this data or cluster column chart or even you can go to the more charts then it will show the some other charts also like you can create the funnel or you can create the Pareto chart also okay and you can choose any chart from here or you can go to the all charts also so let's create this one so charts recommendation also will be according to the selected data for example if we have the quarter by sales if I press Ctrl Q now if I will go to the chart it is giving me the option to select the pie chart cluster column chart step area chart okay so because we have the data accordingly and similarly here in the employee name also if I will select few employees only and I will press Ctrl Q then it is giving me this pie chart option also. But if I will select the entire range and press Ctrl Q, it is not recommending the pie chart now because we have the long list. All right, friends. You can use this for the totals also. For example, here we have product wise and day wise sales. I want to show the total here horizontally. So what you can do in this case, you can select this range. Let's select this range and press Ctrl Q. Go to the totals. And you can select the sum here because we want to get the sum. If you want to get the average, you can select the average. Similarly, you can show the total here in this column vertically. To do that, you can select this range, press Ctrl Q and go to the totals and you can select this. 
If you want to show the running total here, you can simply use the running total option. Select this range, Ctrl Q and we want to show the running total vertically. We can go to the totals and this running total is horizontal. So let's click on this icon. Here we have the vertical running total. Let's click here. So running total has been added. Alright friends, I'll show you how quickly you can create the pivot table using the quick analysis tool. We have some data here name, product, date, location and sales. Now let's say we want to create few pivot tables using this data. Select this data, press Ctrl Q. Let's go to the tables. So it is giving some recommendation for the pivot tables. If I will hover here, it will show me this preview. If I will hover here, it is showing me this preview. You can click on more also to see the other recommended table. So you can see it is showing some other tables like you can create this table, location and name and then sales by name. Here we have sales by product and name, sales by product and location and if you will click on show all 10 result, it will show some other result also, sales by location, a sales by product. So let's say I want to create sales by location. I want to create on the same sheet here. So you don't need to create the new sheet, so don't click here. Let's click on existing sheet. Then I need to provide the reference. So let's click here. I want to create this pivot table here. Click on insert. Automatically it will insert that pivot table. Okay, so it is appearing here. Alright friends, so that is how friends quickly you can insert the pivot table. And the most important thing is it is giving you the recommendation. So quickly you can see the preview. Then only one click it can insert the pivot table in your existing seat as well as you can create your new seat for the pivot tables. Now quickly I'll show you how you can create this spark line. We have this data product and we have here month and then we have here sales numbers. Now we want to show the trend for the sales in this cell. So we will create the spark lines here. To create the spark line using the quick analysis tool, we can simply select this range and then we can click here on this icon or we can press Ctrl Q. Then we can go to the spark lines. And from here, we can select the line spark line or we can click on the columns, bill loss. It's up to you what you want to select. Here I'm selecting line. You can further improve your spark line as you select this range wherein you have created these spark lines. This spark line tab will appear in your Excel ribbon. And from there you can improve it. For example, I want to highlight the high point and low point. And then I want to change the high point and low point color as high point in green and low point in red. So you can go to the marker color. And from here you can take the low point in this red color and high point in this green color. Let's take the dark green, this one. So it will look like this. Alright, you can change the style also if you want to change it. You can take from here any style or this black line color. Alright friends. So friends, that is how you can use the quick analysis tool. Friends, quick analysis tool will not work in two cases. One, if you will select the entire row or entire column, then it will not work. Press Ctrl Q, it will not appear. And if you will select the blank cells, then if you will press Ctrl Q, then still it will not appear. Okay. So make sure you are selecting proper range. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.